Uh, welcome back to the Oracle SQL tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about uh, DML statement. And uh, just, just let a, let's do a recap of uh, what is a DML statement. Uh, whenever we discuss in our uh, in a very couple of first classes about types type of SQL statement, uh, we have uh, discussed about this table. And essentially, uh, this is the part that uh, we are concerned about is DML. All right, and then we have already discussed a lot about select, uh, you know, by in in terms of functions, in terms of you know aggregate functions, and then in join. Uh, so we discussed uh, mostly a lot of things about select. So in this video, we are going to discuss about these three uh, statements on, on DML. Block table is not really that important. Uh, we are not going to discuss here uh, because we are going to discuss about locking in general in the database server concept class okay so with this uh, so let's uh, try to uh, give some example and try to ex try to introduce introduce you about these three types of statement so the first statement is ins insert so insert okay so insert is something like you know we have a table so let's say the table name is abc Okay, so I have a table that name is ABC, and then in table I have a column A, B, and C. Okay, so what I do is I I don't have any any row right now. Okay, so if I do select star from ABC, it's going to give me no rows selected. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some rows to this table, and to insert some rows to the table, we use the SQL statement called insert. So in a few minutes, I'm going to give a complete demo. So here is my uh, ABC table, which is three columns, A and B and C. A is a number, B is a varchar, C is date. Okay. So here is the syntax to insert something to the table ABC. You say insert into ABC, and then you give values then uh, you, you supply the value. Say A is a number, so I get 10. Then B is a varchar, so I will put a quote and say, let's say I want to give a name called King. And then I want to insert a date. Right? As you know that I just I just want to insert today's date. So then I use a function called says date. So whatever I I, I told you in the in the in the previous slide about functions. So if I insert this thing, so one row created, and now if I do select star from ABC, I'll get 10 King and 16 Jan 11 storage date. Okay. So what essentially we we saw here, the syntax of insert is insert. Then you write the keyword into. So these are the keywords insert into, and then you give the table name, which table you want to insert. In this case, we give A, B, C, right? Then another keyword called values, right? And then you start the bracket, and then you give what are the values that you want to insert. So in this case, we inserted 10, king, and date is sysdate. Okay. So this is syntax number one. And if you want to insert, say for example, you have three columns, but for whatever reason, you just want to insert only one column, right? So the what, what may I, what my, what I'm talking about is that in this syntax, I just give values. So if I give values, that means it will expect that you should give all the three values, all the three columns. That means if you just give only 10 and king, then this syntax is going to work, uh, is going to fail. So let's give, give a try. I say insert into A, B, C values. So I, I just, for whatever reason, I just want to insert 20 and then say Larry. So this will fail and then you know as you see the it says clearly that we didn't give enough values. Alright. So but however you you can give a value called null. So
so I just modify this uh, insert statement and I give Larry then I give null okay so one row created if I do a select star from ABC I got this thing 20 Larry and null so another way to write the same command I don't want to use uh, null uh, rather I just say insert into ABC and then I give which column I need to insert so that is A comma B then I give values and I give say black comma oh so the first is A is 30 the number right comma this going to work because I I specifically uh, you know, uh, mention that I'm going to only insert to the column A and B since column A and since column A is a number so therefore I give the first value is a number and since column B is a virtual 2 I give a character string called black so that is how the insert statement works so what it what we discuss here is that number one is this one if I want to insert into all the columns if I do not ins able to insert to all the columns then I have two options either I do insert into ABC then I give which columns I need to insert so let's say I just want to insert into A so just give A then I give values 10 okay or if I want to if I do not want to give this A I can also do something different insert into ABC values and A is 10 but other values I do not know right now so I can give null so this is the way I insert statement works alright so so this is the first uh, like now if we go back so this is the, this is the first thing that we, we discuss about insert and we also discuss how to insert a date so with that we put this date and say for example you want to insert some other date let's say for example I want to insert here in this in this table I want to insert 10 January 2010 okay so if this is the whole that I want to insert so how are we going to do I'm going to do insert into ABC values so let's say I want to insert a new values of A so let's say 70 and let's say the value is clerk and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the date which is 10 January 2010 All right. so 10 January 2010 is a character the first thing is that I need to because since the, the resulting the value here in the database I'm storing is a date I need to change that character to date alright so what I need to do use here I use the to date to underscore date function so this is what we have already discussed in our functions chapter and if you if you're not clear about this then go and look at the video of that that video first and then come back and then uh, then do so to date and then I give say 10 Jan 2010 and then again I'm going to use a date format which is dd mon y y y alright bracket and then the closing bracket for this insert so this is how I if I do a select start from abc I'm going to see 10 January 10 okay for the for the for the value of a is, is equal to 70 so this is how we are going to insert a specific uh, date value alright and the another thing is very uh, you know sometimes we, we need so let's say I want to use I want to insert a lot of values right so what I can use I can insert by using 
substitution variable okay so like what I'm going to do is I'm going to write insert into ABC values then here I give ampersand a right comma ampersand b comma ampersand c so if I give this and then I do insert then it will ask me the value of a so this value of a is a 90 value of b is a since a character I need to put in the quotes say www value of c is let's say assisted okay so it's going to substitute and then insert and then again I'm going to write you know I'm going to run the same query so, sorry same insert statement so that means insert into abc values a b and c I'm not going to modify anything I'm just going to run that one just like that and again it will ask me some value and that's the value of a is now say 100 value of b is say k k k and then value of c is again says that so what is what it does is going to substitute whatever the values that I have given in the runtime and then insert with that values so we use substitution variable when we do not know what is the variable that we want to use we want to put an insert statement and this is going to give me an idea that I can I can get the values dynamically during the runtime all right so this is uh, what all about uh, insert statement and uh, if you have uh, any doubts you can again go to Oracle's SQL, uh, SQL uh, mm, reference material and then you can get more data from there okay so now let's go back to our main page so we discuss about insert now let's come to the update so update means is this like we have a table right now we call this ABC and we have three columns A, B and C A is 10 B is I think King and C is 16 January 11 and then I have 20 Larry and then I don't have anything then I have 30 then I have 70 then 70 I have 10 Jan 11 so these are the my values right so by update statement what I mean to say that if I want to change this king to something else okay or if you have to change this Larry to something else then I use update so the syntax is update then which table you want to update say ABC then which column you have to update so you set column names is equal to B is equal to what is the new value that you are going to update so you know B is equal to say King I will update to Queen okay so if I do update ABC update table ABC set B is equal to Queen then what it is going to do it is going to set all the values of this column to Queen that means King will become Queen and Larry is also going to become Queen and then we have Black and Clark and all of this, them will become Queen because of this statement but I'm not interested in that I'm interested to update only this row then what you can do you can select where you give a selection here where the value of A is equal to 10 the value of a is equal to 10 means only this row is uniquely identified so therefore this king is going to be updated to queen okay so let's uh, do this exercise so I give so select star from ABC I do update so basically my goal is to change uh, the value of king to queen right I don't want to for the remaining all my 20, 30, 70, 90, 100 they will be same as the, as the name suggest. So update ABC set B is equal to Queen where A is equal to 10. This is one row updated. So if I if by mistake if I do not give 
where clause then all rows will be updated so so if I do select star from ABC we are going to see indeed the thing you know whatever it was the king was updated to queen alright so this is what we do update and then we are going to discuss a lot about update uh, whenever we are going to discuss redo logs and all this thing in our videos for server concept okay so now we also finish this update we state now let's discuss about delete so again let's go back to this thing so we have a table a b c with we have how many rows are here so we have one two three four we have six rows okay i want to delete a row and for that i need to do a delete from like you know delete the syntax is delete and then give the uh, you know give the um, give the column uh, give the row which you want to delete so first you delete and then from and then give a table name table name is abc then you give where clause where say a is equal to 10 so that means this value the first row is going to be deleted by the statement it's one row deleted if I do a select star from ABC so I don't have any more king uh, uh, you know, a is equal to 10 10 queen so whatever the value this this is gone okay so this is how you are going to do deleting uh, a row from a table and if you want to delete the complete table what you can do is delete from ABC so it will show you the five rows deleted so whenever you delete it always show you how many rows is deleted so whenever you inserted is going to give you how many rows inserted whenever you updated you're going to it's going to give you how many rows are updated okay so this is what Oracle Oracle server is going to give you back okay so this is what is a delete so we discuss about delete here so this is almost all about DML it's very simple insert update and delete and the most important thing is select for which we almost spend about five to six videos and we learned how to use functions while we are doing selecting we also learned how to join two different tables to get data from multiple tables so in our next slides we are going to discuss more about DDL and TCL and all other all other all other SQL statements